and I'm back. What up, people? What's up, your boy Usema, DJ Seven Two, British nerds, back again. Hope everyone is well, and of course, literally doing well. Shout out to my Umbrella Academy crew. I won't lie, I just finished binge watching season two yesterday. One of the best shows I've seen so far on Netflix. It it. If people think Stranger Things is cool and dope, to be honest. The, the Umbrella Academy just blasts that and takes that to another level. If I had to pick which was better, the Umbrella Academy or, of course, Stranger Things, quite simply, it will have to be the Umbrella Academy. Raw, mature, amazing, gritty, comedic, violent, and just dope. Stranger Things is for the kids. Umbrella Academy is for the grown-up kids. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But that's the question. What do you prefer? The Umbrella Academy, or do you prefer, uh, what's the other one? <laughs> Stranger Things. Let me, of course, uh, no, drop your comments, uh, of course, uh, down below, and of course, let me know. But speaking about the Umbrella Academy, basically, um, the rumour is season three will start pre-production next month. That's the rumour. That's, what, that's what's been popping off. That's what people have been saying. Is it true? Isn't it true? I don't know. But pardon me, that's what I wanted to share with you beautiful people just to let you know potentially it could start pre a pre production say p pre production um next month which means if it does start off you probably won't see the umbrella academy until i don't know maybe next year summer so i really can't wait um one of the best shows that i've seen literally of course on netflix i mean the umbrella academy it's as gritty it's violent it's mature it's fun it's intense it's you know, the characters are relatable. You can relate to the characters and essentially what they're going through regarding dealing with their own inner demons, um, which basically at the end of season two, you get to see they actually have dealt with their inner demons to, on, on, the particular, on a particular level so they can actually move forward basically with their lives. So I look forward to seeing season three and how they've matured. And of course, I guess one of the dopest things about season three that I'm really looking forward to and that I read in the art that I read in an article today um, was basically um, could they potentially find out who their mothers are? Could they potentially find out where they actually came from? Why they mysteriously just, you know, their mothers mysteriously just got pregnant and gave birth to them. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what season three actually does. And of course, you know, we saw a picture of Ben, but we all know Ben's dead. Like, so who is so who's the Ben that we saw at the end of season two? Is it a twin? Is it a clone? I don't know. Um, but so many questions to ask basically about the Umbrella Academy season three, and I can't basically wait. And of course, one more thing, and that one more thing is basically at the end of season two, we get to find out the younger so called Umbrella Academy kids are actually called, of course. The Sparrow Academy, which means the guys and girls again have messed up the, the time, the, the previous timeline, which has caused their father to somehow, I guess, alter his route and essentially what he was going to do before. So the timeline's been really, really messed up to a degree. And now we have the Sparrow Academy. But of course, the Sparrow, the reason it's called the Sparrow Academy is because the next volume of the comics is going to be called the Sparrow Academy. So it's going to be quite interesting, interesting to see how the comics play out in regards to the uh, the series. So um, I'm kind of really interested into, into seeing will the comics come out first and then the series comes out next, which will have, it, which kind of makes sense because I think it would. Um, so I, like to, I, I look forward to seeing how they'll actually take part. So, of course, the comics and put that into... Um, season three and of course will it be called the umbrella academy or is it going to be called the umbrella academy open bracket the sparrow academy close bracket but there's so much things um so much questions you know that, you know you know people are looking forward to like for example like we said previously will they find out where they originally came from who are you know how did they just mis mysteriously how did their parents how did their mom mysteriously become pregnant and give birth to them where did they come from how did they get pregnant you know, did they actually spend time with their parents um, as babies? Were they, were they automatically just given away for adoption? Do some of the women actually still are, are still in contact with, of course, with Hargrave, with, of course, the dad in regards to, you know, 
they still are looking at their kids from, from a distance, but they were told they can never speak to their kids. Who knows? Like, so much questions to be asked. And, of course, the Sparrow Academy, the Umbrella Academy, season three. So I look forward to, of course, um, when the comics, sorry, when the comic comes out, I can't wait. I look forward to also, um, of course, that particular season. Speaking of the comics, um, I grabbed this basically a few months ago, basically. And no, but... It's, I grabbed this when season one came out, or just before season one came out, I believe. But I never actually read it until literally... I, I haven't actually started reading it until literally today. So I'm really enjoying it. And of course, today is new comic book day. So literally, these ain't new. But I basically grabbed the Umbrella Academy volume... Um, is it two? Volume two. And the Umbrella Academy, of course, literally... Um, volume um, three so I really can't wait to read these two um, if anyone has read these two please drop your comments down below let me know what you thought basically of the Umbrella Academy because you know it's uh, it's 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 sick the, the, the show is sick but I'm super excited in reading these two and of course reading these so um, volume one we have over here and of course we literally have volume two uh, no volume two volume three and of course when, when the um, volume four comes out um, I'm not going to buy it as a graph. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read the individual issues and then I'm going to buy the graph when it comes out. Or what I might do also when they bring out the omnibus, meaning they put every single, all of these volumes into one gigantic hardback. I'm so going to cop it and have it as my collection. And of course, today is new comic book day as we spoke. So I grabbed basically this um, X-Men issue, of course, 12. Um, and I grabbed also um, the new Iron Man comic which looks really dope really cool this cover is done by the man himself Alex Ross and uh, this is actually a new Umbrella Academy basically book called you look like death tells from the Umbrella Academy and it's based on claws so um, he gets kicked out basically of the Academy somehow and um, the story kicks off from there so this is issue one which came out last week I look forward to grabbing issue two when it comes out and basically just reading it so as you can see I am I'm really hooked I mean I'm really hooked on the Umbrella Academy. Since I saw the Netflix TV show, you know, like I said, we have friggin, we have volume one, which I copped uh, about six months ago or more. We have volume three. We have volume two. And we literally have the new ongoing, um, of course, Umbrella Academy comic called You Look Like Death Tells from the Umbrella Academy. I will, I will be purchasing every single Umbrella Academy comic book, comic book that comes out because I really dig it. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's really, really good. So I recommend every single person to also read um, the volumes because you understand where the substance, the source material, basically, of what you see on a Netflix show actually comes from. And you see where they've changed things up, where they've kept things the same and so forth. And I, let me say something. I'm not really fussed when they change stuff within the, the series or movies in regards to changing up differently from the comics because we all know if these three volumes followed the the series and it would be boring because you would exact you would know exactly what was going to happen step by step so you gotta change it up you gotta change it up you really 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 gotta change up it's just epic like that it just keeps you guessing it just keeps you you know like captain america civil war you know when we saw actually baron zemo didn't want to create a bunch of super soldiers he wanted to just he wanted to punish um bucky barnes for killing his parents Oh, sorry for um, he wants to punish basically, um, and cause havoc within the uh, the Avengers by of course showcase showing that sorry showing that Bucky Barnes actually killed Tony Stark's parents and no one no one knew that was going to happen. So if Civil War played it how it would be, no one would really enjoy the movie. They would be like, oh yeah, yeah, this happened, this happened, and it happened in the comics and it happened in the movies. But uh, so I'm not really fussed when they change it. So um, can't wait to finish off. Can't wait to continue reading season one. Um, volume one and we're gonna jump on so excited jumping on to volume two what shut up and then we're literally gonna read volume three so yeah the umbrella academy all three volumes cannot wait to read them love it loving them and that's pretty much it and i can't wait to really read this so um beautiful people um i cannot wait to watch basically the umbrella academy um season three once it comes out um, I think when, I'm going to do another video, basically, possibly on YouTube or IGTV, and just on my thoughts, basically, on the Umbrella Academy more, and just my favourite character, characters number five, pow, you get me though, so, um, that's pretty much me.
with that being said people i hope everyone has enjoyed um this video if you haven't it's all cool just leave in the comments and say you haven't and of course if you haven't enjoyed this enjoyed this video you would, you would have probably you would have probably clicked off within the first couple of seconds so i'm um, question of the day what's your favorite umbrella academy season is it season one season two and i want to know just not i want to know the why why is it your favorite season please drop your comments down below and of course let me know that being said peeps i'll catch everyone um tomorrow with a brand new video i am back now consistently doing daily youtube videos i was really suffering from um a lot of energy sluggish sluggishness and fatigue in regards to me coming back from turkey and i've actually made a 30 minute video describing that with everything else so that's gonna be up later on today or tomorrow but overall i'm back every single day on the tube otherwise known as youtube thank you so much for the love and support thank you for watching and of course click like subscribe follow smash the bell button smash the youtube subscribe button and i'll catch you beautiful people in a bit peace yeah.